I have been getting this ad on Instagram for the last like three days. Every time I open Instagram, there's this harness that is supposed to be the perfect harness. You're supposed to be able to add on uh, bottles for water when you're hiking. You're able to add like a light for nighttime. You also are able to add a harness for emergencies, which that caught my eye a lot. That's very unique. And I was like, we need to test it. We need to have it. And like you guys know, I'm always looking for the perfect harness, especially for hikes that we love to go hiking. We love to go into adventures. And when I saw this harness, the first time I was like, pass. And then the second and third time I started calling my eye when I saw all the add-ons. So we are getting it and we're gonna test it out. The brand is called Sacker or Seeker. I'm not sure how it's pronounced cause it have like these weird characters on top of the letters. So let's figure it out together how this brand is called and if it's the best harness for adventure dogs, especially really, really large dogs like a Venus and Apollo. And you guys know Apollo have a really big head and I have a lot of trouble putting harnesses on him and he feel like tired, he start moving. We have test here so many harnesses. So I'm very intrigued on this new harness that I've been seeing all over Instagram to see if it's really the best harness. So we put the order for the harness and two accessories, the lot and the rescue sling. It says it could take five to 10 work days. That's kind of a lot, but so I will see you in a week or two, depending on how long it takes for the products to arrive. I will let you know if it was really fast shipping or if it took the 10 days. We put the order on Sunday afternoon and we received the package on Wednesday. It was a little damaged as you could see the actual box. It have like been a lot of ding-dongs. Probably it's fault of UPS and not of the brand. While the box have a lot of damage, it got here really fast. Expected it was 5 to 10 days and we got it in 3 days. And let's open the box. I'm so excited to check it out. Let's see what we have in here. I like how well packaged everything is. And here we have the Peach Black Dog Night Light. Here we have our Ascension Dog Harness. And I'm so excited to finally check it out. I love how it came wrapped up like if it was a fancy bag, like if it was a Gucci or a Chanel, any of those luxury brands that come with their dust bag. I choose the Prairie Purple because I think it's very unisex and Venus and Apollo, whichever one could use it. And if we ended up absolutely loving it, I will get another one for the other one. Look all the little details, even the dust bag have their logo and everything it looks so well made. This is the first impression, I haven't put it on the dog yet, but so far it looked like they took a lot of detail. Everything have their branding. The Cobra buckle look very sturdy, very high quality. It doesn't look cheap at all. It looks like everything is well made and well designed so far. I love the front D-ring and a back D-ring. The construction seems like really good quality. Everything is really well sewn together. Can't wait to see these reflectors at night. They're supposed to be like a rainbow effect. So I really interested in see how they look at night times. I really like their branding and the material that they use. It looks very, very nice. Now let's check out the CAN 911 Rescue Sling. This was one of the things that made me very interested in this system. Being able to have that for emergencies, I hope I never have to use it, but having it is a peace of mind. 
I think for the most part I will keep it in the car or in the backpacks when we go in big hikes. The material feels like a really sturdy nylon and inside it feels like a little bit more plasticky than the outside. The holes look pretty big, I think they will fit good on Venus's leg and these are the strap for the shoulders. And now it's time to try that on in Venus and Apollo. We are first going to try it on on Apollo. He's a little skinnier than Venus. They both weigh 96 pounds. But he's a little thinner and also his coat is a lot lighter than her. She's very, very woolly. We removed the last band to try it on just like a normal harness with the one on the neck and the one on the chest. And then we will add on the last one around the bellies. I have to mention that the adjustability is incredible. I could see this harness fitting a really big dog, something like a San Bernard, a mountain dog, or a Newfoundland dog. It have a lot of playability. And it's not often that you see something pretty that come from really, really large breeds. Apollo's chest is 36 inches. And we have to play with the harness for a really, really long time to adjust it and adjust it. And even with so many adjusted, it's still a little bit loose. And this was the size they recommend us in the email. They recommend us to buy the extra large to the extra, extra large. Looking at their website, they are right at the end of the medium to large and right at the beginning of the extra large. So they're like in between sizes. This one is a little loose, so we have to keep playing with it to put it as tight as it goes. And we still haven't add on the last one. That is the one in the waist where Apollo is very, very thin. A lot thinner than Venus. Still very loose in the chest area, so we keep adjusting. It's been taking over 10 minutes just in adjustments. Like Venus is wider, we decide to take it off from Apollo and put it on Venus to see if this will be her perfect like sizing. The, the front here mm. is still loose. So if you hook up this here, this is going to really go sideways. The waistband connect to the main harness with this carabiner here. The main purpose of the waistband, I believe, is for when we are like using the rescue wand. For normal walks and hikes, I don't think that you will need the third band. The pitch black dog nightlight actually have me very excited. Where we walk at night every night, some areas are a little dark and I'm always worried our car will come and they will not see us. So I was really interested when I saw this light is supposed to be very, very bright. Can't wait to test it tonight. I don't love that the charger is so unique. I would have preferred if it was an USB-C like that. If I lose the charger, I could use one of the ones I have. Super easy to put on the harness. And if you need to remove it, you could easily take it off and put it in the rescue one if you need it in the rescue one. Or if you want it in your own backpack. It's super easy to put on and off. The straps were very long and I emailed them before I went to do my nails and by the time I came back home, they had already responded so their customer service is really, really good. And they just told me to put the straps through the elastics around the harness, so I'm doing that now.
now it's time to put together the rescue sling. This one looks very complicated, so I'm gonna let Jay take the lead on this one. Venus, come. So you get this one. And you wrap it around in there. This is too tight now, though, because you put the other strap in. Alright, so we're gonna take that strap out. Let me tell you, this look very complicated to do. I don't think I will be able to do it myself. And just have in mind that this is supposed to be for a rescue situation. If Venus will have a broken leg or if she will have been beaten by another animal or she will be injured in any way, she will not be this calm. She will be probably in a lot of pain, maybe laying down maybe trying to bark or bite so this seemed a little complicated i hope we could like practice a lot and get it a lot faster but so far it seemed very very hard i want to have it just in case as an extra thing to have in case something does happen i really hope we never have to use it especially seeing how hard it is to put together I really, really hope she never get injured and we never have to use it. I definitely hope in the future they make an easier model. It took us a lot of tries and error to try to put it together. Okay, I'm not sure how you could make this one. I think I got it backwards. Put it backwards? I don't think so. Did I bring the instructions? I don't know where it's up. Like, there's nothing for this side to hook on to. Let me bring the instructions. After checking the instruction for a second time, we are trying once again. And like I said, this is so hard. Can you imagine if she was in pain, if she was injured, beaten or something? It will be so difficult to put together. I really hope once we actually figure it out, we could actually put it together in an easier way. We have gotten Venus dressed and used to, to wearing harnesses and all kind of stuff since day one that we got her. Uh, some of you don't know, but Venus was actually trained to be my service dog, but then she got really, really sick with an immune system disorder, so we stopped her from being my service dog. But she got a lot of training. A dog that doesn't normally behave as good as Venus I don't know how you will put this together. It's too heavy? Is this the way that it is? I can't I can't pick her up with this. We'll both fall. It's 
Is it one in up first? Get balance. Okay, choking my neck here. <coughs> And you couldn't put it like... I don't know. I don't know how to. I, guess, I don't know. I don't think I can because it doesn't have... Well, it has a little strap here, yeah. So you could put it a little bit lower. It was choking. <laughs> I can't carry her like that. Me, me, don't never break a leg. Try again. Okay. Good girl, Venus. Good girl, Venus. Try to walk. Good girl, Venus. Good girl, mommy. Like this is an adventure harness and a rescue sling to be used outdoors we decided to take venus to the park to taste it outdoor with distractions at home she will do excellent we know that but when there's like other dogs and animals she will get a little bit more distracted we want to try to put it together without looking at the instructions this time like if it was a real case scenario that she get injured she get her paw cut or she get a blister anything that could happen we probably are not gonna have good reception or we're probably are not gonna have the instruction right with us so we wanted to try it without instructions and outside with distractions though we know if she was really injured she was not gonna have to be this happy to help and if there was something even worse, like if she ate something she shouldn't have eaten and she was lethargic, it will be really hard to move her around to be putting all these harness things. Also, if this was a real case scenario, I will be probably crying and having an emotional breakdown. So that will put also a lot of pressure on him. He's a lot more calmer and he works way better under pressure. Anyway, the other reason that he's doing it and not me, for him it was really hard to carry her. She's 96 pounds, more or less. I know I cannot carry her. Even if I want to, I will not be able to carry 96 pounds. I'm not speeding up the process so you see how slow and how time consuming it is. Just imagine this while she's injured crying trying to bite you a lot of time dogs when they get injured they try to bite even their owners or anybody near them because they don't know why they're on pain and they just sometimes they attack so have in mind all of the time this take i really hope this company sees this video i'm actually thinking on sending it to them and maybe in the near future they could develop a new rescue sling then we just have to put it all like with clips, maybe with some caraviners or with the cobra buckles, something that we just clip on and we don't have to be doing so much pass through here, pass through there. We will only have to pass it through their legs and pretty much that's it. Because if she was in pain, she will not be this happy to do this. We have passed the two minute mark. Now imagine you doing this for over two minutes while she's bleeding crying and you are also crying you just want to be at the vet you want to get out of that hike as soon as possible and you still dealing with this i have looked up in google other slings for rescue dogs 
and Ray Allen have one that look a lot more simpler if you have their hardness. That's one of the problems that I keep seeing over and over. You need to get like the full theme from each brand to be able to use their rescue themes. If you know of one that it could work with any harness, please leave it in the description down below. I want to check them out. Also, I hope if you work for this brand and you're watching this, work with your engineers to engineer something that is a lot faster to put in. Within less than a minute, it will be perfect. And if it's in a few seconds, even, even better. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have been able to put any of this on you. <laughs> this is the truth. I couldn't have put any of this on her if she was hurt. And laying down like this, it wouldn't have weaved. So if she was actually hurt. Venus is such a trooper. She did so good taking the pictures for the thumbnail and during the whole process of getting this scene, it took us three minutes to get it completely on and up. If we're gonna talk about the harness alone, I do recommend it. I think it looks beautiful. It feels and it looks expensive. The color is super pretty and it looks like a really good quality. I'm gonna write them again to see if the large will fit Apollo because I would like to get one for Apollo too. I'm really in love with the harness. Unfortunately, the rescue sling, I do not recommend it. It took God, way too long to put it together with Shin being fine. Can you imagine with her being injured? So sadly, that's a no for me and I will keep looking for one that is better option for us. Especially for us that we have such a large breed it was super difficult to put together and even more difficult to carry her around if you have a dog like a husky that is between 30 to 50 pounds probably it will be a lot better the part of carrying her around the putting together still it will be a pain but again if you have a 30 pound dog probably you just could carry him like a baby now it's time to review the night light and I have to say it's super super bright. I was very impressed with how good it is and for sure I'm getting another one for Apollo. The reflectors are good, they are just reflectors, they just have a little bit of a hue of a rainbowish colors but nothing out of this world, they're just reflectors. From the point of view of a car from far away, you could totally see Venus. You could not see me, you cannot see I'm walking her. It looks like she's by herself, but it does a really great job letting you know there's a dog that she's coming. I do recommend the pitch black dog light. It's really good, especially in a pitch black area. We were behind the houses where there's a few trees and there's no light at all, and you could see a lot. I'm very impressed with it and I think I'm getting another one for Apollo for sure. <laughs> 